Hey there, everybody. Maria Marquis from Coda here, and I am with the fabulous John V to help you figure out how to use the Notion importer if you're moving from Notion into Coda. Uh, John V, want to introduce yourself to the group? Hi, everyone. I'm John V. I'm an engineer at Coda and one of the engineers that worked on the importer, and I'm super excited to give it a swirl with y'all. Excellent. All right. So here we are in a Notion workspace. John V, if I want to move this workspace into Coda, what's the process that I need to go through? All right. So it's super simple. You just Click this little ellipses up top, click export, make sure the export format is an HTML, mm -hmm. you are including everything for the content, and make sure to toggle this include subpages little button over here, and Great. Then export. Nice. And so we have our zip file. Now what do we do? So don't click on the zip file. It's tempting, but don't do it. Just <laughs> go straight into Coda. Um, you could, with insert, use this little packs and import button. But if you want to be even quicker, you just directly import from here. But before we import this little zip file, make sure to share the Coda doc with whoever was shared on your Notion workspace so mm -hmm. that we preserve at references. So the engineering wiki was shared with Noah. So I'm going to share this with him. Mm -hmm. And after we've shared it, we're going to quickly go to this little backslash command notion and let's select the export file that we just exported so we grab that zip file cool and make sure not to close out of the browser when it's exporting and then it'll do the job excellent so now we have everything's been brought over we have that cover image we have all the sub pages and then you had shared this with noah so we see all of noah's content here as well very cool. Um, any other gotchas that we need to be aware of um, if we're making this change? Things that we should be mindful of? We recommend that you don't export in Safari. And if you do, turn off the open save files after downloading feature on Safari. And just make sure to export an HTML, include all sub pages, and don't try to unzip the file. And then it'll work. Got it. So it seems like all we need to do is export and then upload and just wait. And then it's all set up for us. We don't need to do anything special. Exactly. Excellent. All right, y'all. So that's how you do it. If you're moving from Notion to Coda, just move through that export process. If you ever need help, reach out to us, have some fun and welcome to Coda.